I'd like to go through the WS Tech uh, CS Data Vario. Uh, it's a device by the company WS Tech. Um, owner of that company, I believe, is uh, Wolfgang Schreiner. Um, the Data Vario itself, uh, not just used for picking up uh, thermals or sync uh, or giving you an altimeter reading, there are a lot of other features, a lot of other interfaces, and uh, a lot of other features that offer you um, input for your flying not just for sail planes uh, or thermal duration uh, but also for cross country uh, even your F3, F3Bs and F3Js and even F3Fs you can still ad get advantage of this in your setup before competition and I'm going to go through some of the features and functions right now. Uh, later on we'll go for a fly and uh, I'll be showing you the uh, set up on the radio for the slider, the three position slider to go through the various functions as well as show you what it looks and sounds like in the air uh, for both thermaling and other features from the GPS, the amp sensor or current sensor uh, and also um, uh, other features as well. And I'll cover some of the actual devices itself. This is the principal, the main product itself which is the CS Data Vario. Uh, this gives you, as standard, um, built-in altimeter. Uh, we've got the sensors, the battery voltage, uh, the receiver monitoring, so that if you have any glitches or you've got a problem with the battery or something's going on, it can, it can operate as a failsafe. Um, it can give you a climb rate and also has a data logger. Now, the data logger itself slips into a micro SD card in the side and uh, you can buy those uh, from WS Tech and I do advise you do because I've tried four or five of them and they don't work but here's do so he's obviously a particular type and they're so cheap anyway it doesn't matter. The second part or the second component is essentially the tech probe and the tubing which goes to the data vario. The tech, um, the tech probe which is TEK, Total Energy Compensation Probe, sits basically in the tail on either the on a cross tail or on the side on a V tail. Uh, you could probably mount it elsewhere, but I don't, I don't advise it. Um, I advise sticking straight to the book and getting it to work out of the box, plug and play, uh, so that you know it's going to work straight off the bat. This senses the uh, movement of air mass um, and also can compensate for the airspeed around it. So essentially what you're having is that you, with the data vario itself, <coughs> with its onboard altimeter, is a baseline. It then adds or subtracts the compensation of the mass air movement on the tech probe. This gives it a reading, a baseline reading then of whether the glider is uh, gaining altitude or losing altitude. How much altitude you're gaining or losing uh, and whether the air is climbing or, dis or, or it's in a thermal or a sink air uh, is also determined by the glide slope of your glider and we'll go through that in a minute. The next particular device is the sensor interface. This is a V3 version. Um, the sensor interface allows you to put on pitot tube for measuring airspeed, uh, temperature sensor for measuring the temperature of a battery or maybe it's your speed controller, your EC, uh, ESC. <coughs> it also uh, interfaces with the GPS and this is the GPS unit itself. I actually mount this using Vel just a simple Velcro fastener under the neck of the, on the shoulder of the wings just in the fuse. I mount the data vario in with all the receiver gear, keep it protected. The next device that we're going to go through <coughs> is the current sensor. Now the current sensor gives you motor battery voltage, it gives you a minimum voltage alarm. Now that minimum voltage alarm you have to input what voltage you want it to go at. So if we're talking lithium polymer cells uh, I would recommend between 3.3 .3 and 3.5 volts per cell. Um, because I live in a, cl a warm climate, I'll set that to 3.5. I've had a fire on um, uh, a lithium polymer f battery fire on board here from a motor battery, um, and uh, I don't want to actually go through that again. So this, for me, is a particular uh, nifty little piece of kit. Now these come with uh, solid um, connectors, six millimeter, 
I use 5.5 millimeters, so I've just made some adapters to adapt it to my batteries and my speed controllers so I don't have to change my whole fleet of batteries and fleet of speed controllers. So you can do that, it's no problem.